Make your choices a whole lot smarter. We've got you covered on Echo Drive. Now enjoy this video. We knew it was coming and it's finally here. The Hyundai Creta's electric avatar. Always sounded like a winning formula, but now that I've driven it, is it any good? Not a whole lot of styling differences between the regular Creta and the electric. There is a slight difference in that face that you see in all the black element here and also the use of pixels, lots of pixels everywhere. Now, all Hyundais use pixels, but they get exaggerated on the electrics. And so you see squares here, the little flaps that open up for aero and also down in this uh, element inside this glassy panel. You also see them at the back of the car. The colors, there are 10 in all. One new color, which is this, the ocean blue, available in matte and in glossy and also in two-tone. The cabin is almost identical to the regular ICE Cretas, but it has a lighter palette and a floating console up front with a steering-mounted twist movement gear shifter. All of that's more like the Ionic cars. The floating center console is really cool though and gets chunky buttons to activate seat ventilation. Two nice 10.25 inch screens and the digital cluster is similar to the Cretas but has additional EV specific graphics. And then there are the carryovers from the Alcazar 2 like the rear tray tables and this. You can also do this. Both recline the seat forward and move it forward. Again, a carryover from the Alki, which is a nice one because it gives you lots of space back here to really be chauffeur driven. You get all the tech and connected car features like the Creta already had. And then there's also ADAS, six airbags and 75% of the structure uses high strength steel. The Creta Electric drives very much like the ICE Creta, and that's good and bad. I'll explain in our longer review why that's bad. You can do the math on why it's good anyway. Regen also works well. There are two battery packs, and the claimed range is pretty good too. The way the suspension has been done, the way you glide over these little broken or uneven road surfaces, small potholes, it's all really comfortable. It's almost uh, comforting to know that it has that exact character and that having that battery on the floor doesn't really change that. Cars like the Tata Curve EV, the MG ZS EV, the upcoming Maruti E Vitara, Mahindra B6, all of these would be the chief rivals for the Creta Electric. Whether they need to worry will depend squarely on how aggressively Hyundai prices this one. So don't forget to watch our full review of the Creta Electric once its prices are announced tomorrow. Everything car and everything bike. We got you. Here on Echo Drive, our expertise for your ease.